First and foremost, I would like to give praises and honor to God. Without him, I am nothing. The gifts given to me by God, I choose to use them to enlighten and uplift his people. By the sound of my voice, I am committed to be a beacon of hope and encouragement. I would like to thank my mother. As a little girl, I watched her speak and write and speak to audiences. I was captivated, sitting in the church pew listening to the sound of her voice. From the bottom of my heart, I sincerely thank you for the gift of gab. I will always be your voice. My two greatest inspirations, my sons, Kamian and Kenyon. You two are my driving force that constantly keeps me reaching and striving for something that is greater than myself. I would like to thank my community. Being able to commune in unity is a dream that I reach for as I stand on the shoulders of those who came before me. The support that I receive from the community is accepted with the spirit of gratitude and thanksgiving. I am thankful for the Community Enrichment Dinner, which highlights the works of individuals like myself, those of us who are far too often unnoticed and unheard. Time is of the essence and I guarantee to seize each and every moment that I am granted to share my experiences with you. It only takes one grain of sand to move the world and I pray that I am the spark to light another person's fire on their journey to becoming. I leave this with a simple thank you. Four years ago, I took a leap in faith to start a cleaning company. The process to success has given me confidence within myself to become the best entrepreneur, husband, and father that I can be. I'd like to thank my wife, my queen, Kayla, for always supporting me mentally, physically, and spiritually. In my first book, Truth of a Lost Soul, I once said, self-evaluation and change of my cultural environment has granted the opportunity to become a man. I just want to thank Lima Community again for helping me within my journey.